Hi guys, Dorota Palicka International Nail Artist and Educator here and today I have prepared some quick and easy nail art for you. Have a preview of it in here. Really simple design, but I hope you will really enjoy watching this tutorial. If you're new in here, hit the subscribe button now to don't miss any future tutorials. And to you guys, I'm sending you one more time huge glittery hugs for all your support, comments, likes and shares. So let's start. I've got my tip ready and the color we want to use is a 216. It's called Almost Naked, like a really nice and nude color. So just apply it at end and that will do as a background. You can see that it has an amazing coverage, but usually when you get those like really highly pigmented gel, gel polishes, make sure you do work through it, like that you do not apply it too thickly. So I just work it through it and then give it a cure. It is a 60 seconds cure and in the meantime I have got one which is already ready. <laughs> Um, so our next step is to protect everything with the top coat uh, because you don't want um, the next product to affect uh, the gel polish which is in it. I just don't like to work over inhibition layer so I'm using the High Shine No Wipe Top Gel. And then cure it. Do the same on the other tip. And then that way they will be ready for the next step where we will create some nice and easy stones. I'm just making sure there is no dust particles. And when my tips are cooking, we are gonna, I will show you like what we are gonna be playing with. So I've got an acrylic liquid here, some white acrylic. Then I also, in addition, got some different ones like um, from some new perfect collections, um, like a very bright pink, pearly pink, and some pearly orange. Okay, just put them on the side, and then we are gonna, I will show you here you want to basically pick up a tiny bit of the each color and what you can do it is you can kind of like mix it together on the paper and then just scoop it like a small scoop the size you need it and we can place a first stone in here so I want to kind of do like almost a necklace uh, shape in here. So I want the tiny stone in there. So just place my bead. And then shape it into the stone. You want them to be kind of irregular. And you also want the colors to blend and mix together. Okay, so that's my... First stone almost ready. Do not make them too raised. I can see it. I can still grab the one I've got it in there. And I'm placing the next one. And the colors mix it really nice together. Change the shape of it a little bit and pick up another one. What you could do it is you could actually messy pick up like more of it. Next stone. I want a little bit more white in my mixture. I'm just bringing more white. Like almost creating a marble, like wet marble. Let's do another one in here. I 
another one and this one is going to be the largest one I will just bring in more okay so I've got the first uh, part of this design wait for it to fully cure and we can do a same on this one I mean not exactly the same but kind of similar so I'm bringing in more this time more orange I want clean my brush pick up the scoop of the product shape it into the stones like really easy <laughs> smooth it out And then move on into the next step. So this one is ready. We can start decorating it with the crystals. So actually, let's use this one. So base gel. And then you want the crystals to join our stones. Okay, so you want one in there, one in there, and there, there, and there. I'm picking up different sizes. So here I've got a bigger gap, since I want to go for a larger one, and then smaller ones. And a tiny one in here, because that's all what I can squeeze. And give it a flash cure. Oh! Do it in here. So some large ones and a very small one. Again, give it a flash cure. Okay, grab the first tip and add more detail into it. So again, more base gel. And I'm just gonna add some carrier beads in there. more blue tack so my tip doesn't move there we are sorry Patrick but I can't squeeze my hand just where the camera is
and where I've got the large um, the large crystals, I'm placing the bigger caviar beads. And then freeze it. Same in here. and freeze it. A small ones now. <laughs> Look at the difference in between them. The size is unbelievable. And the last one. It's actually a really simple design. Cure it. Three caviar beads on the bottom. And flash cure it. Okay, we want to have something on the side of this one. Ideally, I want something in a rose gold. So let me check it, what I've got in here. Yay, actually. I do like this one. I do really love this one. So just grab this feather and attach it in. So at the moment I'm only concentrating on attaching the feather and now I can see it. It cannot fly in the ear. So it's going to be attached. No, it's not going to be attached to that. It's going to be attached to caviar beads.
so three caviar beads two caviar beads and that is better like I didn't like it when it was too straight I want my feather to go a little bit at the angle and then let's cure it next one So I've got four caviar beads in here. Do make, actually I can squeeze definitely five. Make sure they are in a nice line and then give them a cure. And after we have done that, it's a time for a top coat. And what you want to do it, so normally we do not top coat the acrylic, um, like we want those texture visible, but I'm gonna top coat my acrylic. So the stones are really nice and shiny. I do not top coat the crystals, just the acrylic stones, caviar beads. The gold feather. Then make sure once you finish uh, top coating that you kind of smooth out your top coat. Okay, happy with this one. So give it a cure. <coughs> and do repeat this one here. So it's just easy design. I will say pretty quick as well. And you can customize it to your clients. You know, it's like so you could change the color of the stones. Okay, happy with this one. So let's cook it and then I can show you the two which we have created. I will probably play with these designs and uh, come up for a thumbnail uh, picture with more ideas because I think it's fun like I, I love especially this one um, you could use uh, also some flowers like because I had dilemma actually I wanted to really badly use those uh, flowers the ones I've got it on my nails as well I think it will look super cool as well or just uh, do some 3d acrylic uh, flowers on your own but that's the two uh, pieces we have created uh, today and I hope guys you have really enjoyed this quick and easy uh, tutorial. I'm sending you huge glittery hugs and bye for now.